Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How we doing, man? It's Anelli here. Answering your questions today. Today's question is on gear. What type of gear do you get in college? If you're a Division One player, if you play in a, in a either ACC, SEC, you know, one of the big conferences, what type of gear do you get? We've talked about major league gear and all the free gear that you get. If you haven't seen that, go check out our other video. I put up a long time ago. It was one of my uh, first Q&A questions about last year, I think. So definitely go check that out. Now, college for me was much different. And things have changed. Remember, I played in college a long time ago. I was a freshman in the fall of, or in the spring of 04, fall of 03. So 15 years ago, I was a freshman, okay? So that's a long, long time ago. Um, and I'll be completely honest. Wake Forest at the time, look, we were a good baseball school. When I committed to Wake Forest, I think we were like number three in the country, all right? And we ended up having Kyle Sleeth went like, Top five overall that year that I came in. Jamie D'Antona went, I think, in the supplemental or in the second round. We had a lot of guys drafted that year. So really good baseball school. But boy, did we have a small budget for some reason. We did not get a whole lot of gear, okay? It was like this gross cotton gear, first of all. See, it, I think it was by Russell, I believe, is who it was, I think. But honestly, back then, like I got um, like this shirt right here. This is not from 2000. This is not from my college career. This is when I went back to coach there in 2000 and the fall of 13, spring of 14. This is when I got this shirt. We had a Nike deal. Now they still have a Nike deal, I believe. Um, so don't get confused and think like, oh, it looks like a nice shirt, especially for 2003. This is not the shirt I got. Okay. Um, so we get like these kind of gross, thick cotton shirts. And again, like dry fits and stuff weren't really big back then. Uh, but there had to have been something better than we got. So I got a t-shirt, uh, kind of a gross cotton t-shirt. I got these cotton shorts that were like up to like my mid thigh, looked like Larry Bird, something Larry Bird would wear back in the day. Um, so we had those. Uh, then you would get a pair of black Wake Forest sweatpants that were kind of, I actually still have them in my room right now. I wear them to sleep sometimes. They're disgusting. Um, so we would get those. And then you'd get a, I think we got a sweatshirt. And that was pretty much it. And then you'd get like, you know, you'd get your jersey and stuff. But I'm talking about stuff for off the field. Um, so we really didn't get very much stuff at all. The budget was very small. And the gear was not very comfortable. And again, I know like now when you're talking, you're like, oh, but it was 2003. Like that was the stuff you got back then. No, when we were wearing that stuff, I remember us being like, what the hell is this stuff? Like this stinks. And I remember when I went to my last, my, the two schools I chose between were Wake Forest and UNC Chapel Hill. When I went to UNC Chapel Hill, I remember I walked in, I walked on campus. They took me down to the baseball field. First thing, I walk into the baseball stadium. Uh, they open the door, I walk into this room, and they've got this table. And it is just full of Nike gear. They must have had a hundred different items out there. Shorts and t-shirts and hat, winter hats and coats and everything you can imagine. And it was all nice gear. I don't remember it being like gross cotton stuff. I remember it being like nice, kind of like nice stuff like this. And I remember being like, wow. Like, because when you're young, like gear is big. Like put in the comment section below how important gear is. That's what everyone asks. Like what kind of gear you get? Everyone wants gear, right? Now it's like all neon gear. But back then, like, I remember looking at it and be like, wow, this is really, really nice gear. Like, I would like to wear all this stuff. And then I got the Wake Forest for the visit, and I was like, they didn't show me any gear. Now I know why. Um, but in the end, they chose Wake. So gear, I guess it wasn't a gear guy. Gear wasn't that important to me. Um, but the gear was really, it was bad. Okay, now when I went back to Wake Forest to coach, that's when the gear was really good. So like I said, we had a Nike contract. I, th I think they still have it now. So like as a coach, I'm not talking about as a player now. I went back as a coach in 2013 in the fall. And I got like short, nice shorts and these shirts. And I got bunches, a bunch of them. Black one, gold one, white one, gray one. It was like every color that you could imagine. Every Wake Forest color possible, you get that. Winter hats and winter jackets and spring jackets and BP tops and zip ups. And we had clothes that we wore on the road, on the buses, on the planes, and we got sneakers and turfs and cleats and 
I was like, what is going on right now? Like that we did not get any of that stuff when I played. Um, so things obviously really changed. I know Nike, I don't know if it was because of Nike and they give a lot more stuff. Um, I'm not sure if the budget expanded. I don't know how that all works. All I know is I wish I played at Wake Forest in 2014 and not 2004. Um, but that's how it was, at least back then. And obviously now things have changed. Everything at Wake Forest has really changed. They've got a new field now. They've got like, a, I don't know, a $20 million complex or some crazy complex now with batting cages and a pitching lab and a new clubhouse. You've seen the clubhouse before? Go online and check out Wake Forest Clubhouse. Ridiculous. My clubhouse was like, they had these old school like, uh, lockers that look like they would be in like a high school gymnasium from like 1964. Um, and they gave us a stool, which I think I've shown you guys before. I think it's around the corner. I'll show it one of these times. I still have my stool. It was actually one of my favorite things. It is a, just kind of an old stool, but I'm um, so that was probably my best thing that I got from wake as far as gear and equipment goes is my stool that I still use today. Um, uh, but the locker room was, it was bad, man. It was, it was just bad. Wake Forest has come a long way since when I went there. So Anyways, that's the type of gear you get. Um, again, if you go to a, a really good Division One school now, I'm sure everybody gets all kinds of gear now. But you know, if you're at a top Division One school, if you're at a, a big conference, you're probably getting all the stuff I talked about, like Wake Forest is getting nowadays. But um, it's not like that everywhere. So comment in the section below if you've played college baseball, if you're currently playing college baseball. Let me know. Um, let me know what kind of gear you guys are getting. Um, I'd be interested to hear that or what kind of gear you're not getting. Um, that'd be cool to hear. And that's all I got. So thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share the video with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the uh, description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there for you guys to check out. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate. If you type in Antonelli after clicking on the link below, you get 50% off your first Plate Crate. Um, we've also got a, a Patreon link to support the channel. We've got a bunch of other stuff down there as well, so definitely check all of that out. And that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.